We begin this noon with the captain coming home to Hockey Town. Right now, these are live pictures of Chopper 7 flying over the future home of Steve Iserman. Good afternoon from our downtown studio. I'm in Marie Laflame, and it is now official. We have just confirmed Steve Iserman will be named the general manager of the Detroit Red Wings. Number 19 coming home to take over the organization where he spent his entire playing career. Right now we want to go downtown to Little Caesars Arena. That's where we find Justin Rose. Justin, we were both kids born and raised here in Detroit. We know the greatness and the height of Steve Iserman's career. This is just too cool. Oh, absolutely. You couldn't have said it any better. For anybody growing up a Red Wings fan, this is just a full culmination of his career, peaking as a player, winning Stanley Cups, bringing championships here as a player, and now he has an opportunity to bring them back to glory, but this time as general manager of the Detroit Red Wings. I had an interesting interaction with Steve Iserman this morning. He's been around for the better part of the past year, so when I ran into him this morning, I had to kind of go up to him, say a little bit more than I usually would, and this is our conversation. I put this out on Twitter a little bit earlier today. I said to Steve, hey, is it a coincidence that on the 19th of the month in the year 2019, that number 19 is coming home? Kind of just smiled and said, let's get it done. Steve Iserman, of course, the great captain of the past, coming back home to settle in his roots. His family's still here. His daughters are still here. He still has a home here. So coming back home, the easy decision for Iserman in this one. Today at 3 o'clock, there will be a press conference with him, former general manager Ken Holland, who will stay in an advisory role. So he's not going anywhere. And it's an interesting uh, relationship between those two because many people thought that, well, Ken Holland doesn't want to necessarily just give away his job. But he said last week when he had his postseason press conference, he and Steve Eisman are best friends. So who wouldn't want to work with their best friend? Apparently, it's coming to fruition full circle. We'll have plenty more coverage throughout the day on air and online. We're planning on streaming this live when we do have him come to the podium at 3 o'clock. So make sure you keep it with Channel 7 all afternoon and evening. Plenty of good stuff from Steve Eiserman, the captain. Reporting live at Little Caesars Arena, Justin Rose, 7 Action Sports.